Hello everyone, today I got this beautiful owl, it's actually a mechanical bird, should be fun to animate it, maybe some weird fun motions or I don't know, <clears throat> it's actually one of the characters of Children of Lumera, very beautiful drone game, I'm pretty sure we'll be sharing more stuff from that game soon, okay so Today we will be rigging a right wing, left one I already rigged, so you can see how it works and if you are interested to achieve similar result on your projects, you can stay tuned. <coughs> okay, so here we have two joints, mostly we will be working with them in animation mode, uh, this one uh, does the most of the movement so you can see this is the top position and this is the bottom position we can also separately move this tip of the wing without affecting the elbow joint you can see that when I rotate this joint it affects the elbow while well, this one just keep it simple we also can manipulate this joint <coughs> To achieve perfect poses in animation mode. Okay, let's see for controls. Let's see how we start the right wing. Okay, I'm not going to name every bone properly with their corresponding names just to keep video short. Um, and if you are new to spine, it will be probably a little bit difficult to follow up because it's pretty much complex rig, I, I believe, for beginners. But no worries, you can stay tuned and later ask any question in comments, I will be happy to answer them. Okay, so first let's uh, lay out the main skeleton, the main bones, these three ones, these three ones. Note that they won't be ch uh, chilled children of each other so <coughs> they all will be child to this shoulder bone okay so I am holding shift K to add all bones and not children to each other but uh, rather than children to the first shoulder bone this is a nice hot key you can use it okay now you can see that all of them are inside of this bone uh, let's Next, add the joint bones. I want to have control over them and place wherever I exactly want. So I would like to add uh, controlling manually rather than when it, they are generating when you create the eye keys. Okay, so let's give them a nice red color, distinguishable. <coughs> I will actually put this bone inside the, the, the last joint so it will be easy to control <coughs> next let's uh, create uh, eye keys single bone for stretch and compress these uh, bones okay. Now we have this. Oh, sorry. I parented this bone to this joint so it can move like a chain. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so we have this movement. The next thing is uh, pretty much simple. We just add the uh, eye key like we did here with uh, two arms. Okay, so let's do it here and here. So this will actually have a smooth, a smooth uh, option enabled. I'm going to put it the tip of it here and uh, make it smooth softness. It's not smooth, so softness, higher volume. So let's stretch it to 
get close to this to this uh, bones. <coughs> okay, next thing I am going to parent this bone to this joint. So now when we move this uh, joint, it actually also moves that I key newly created. Uh, now I just need to make a constraint and uh, tell this bone to follow this bone 50%. So that will actually move this bone here, which it, it should be somewhere there. So let's let's do it. <coughs> Okay, we create transform constraint and select the target this spawn. Mm, select the march 50%. Let's see. Okay, so we have an issue with the uh, ordering of constraints. It happens a lot when you do the complex rigging. You can just uh, hit uh, reset constraint it will mostly do the job um, but here I think we can do it manually now let's position this and see which one actually fixes them which order actually fixes it Here we go. Okay, so we now have the main structure of this wing. You can see it's not complete yet. I will add the, I think the last touch up. Now, when you move this joint, you can see that this bone is fixed here. When we go <coughs> like fully here, you can see. It, it should be much better if this bone also moves there because if we move it here uh, the result would be much better if also this uh, root of this chain also moves like uh, different <coughs> wing so let's control Z and uh, do the last okay so we have this working and we just make another const transform constraint and um, select for this bone and select the target this joint since we will mostly move this joint <coughs> again we hit match to fix the difference between positions of these bones i think 30 would be enough to reorder yeah I think it's fine Okay, so now we have that this wing. Actually, it, it should be exactly the, as we have here. Uh, I will now bind these meshes, so you can uh, we can make sure if we get a similar result. Just some weights here. 
let's put it into uh, some extreme causes to see where we need to adjust some. I think it's fine though. Yeah. Okay. Yes. That's that's it. If it anyway helps you guys for your next projects, it would be very good. I'll be sharing more uh, rigs, uh, tips. I don't know if, if you need anything particularly. Let me know in comments. I'm pretty sure I will find some time to try to explain it. Okay, see you next time, guys. Bye.